Hey everybody, how's it going? Aaron Rift here along with good old JM Jeff Meacham for the 15th annual NoDQ.com Year End Awards with a record 22 categories this year. Jeff, how are you doing? Yeah, I, I just have a question. Are you like WWE where we call it the 15th anniversary or is it the 15th annual? It's the 15th annual. Okay, because 15th anniversary would be next year. Right. WWE, take note of that. Just If, if you're watching. Okay. Because WrestleMania 25 was the 24th anniversary, the same. Exactly. Yeah, okay. this is anyway. the 15th annual. 15th straight yeah. year. Number 15. Number 15 that we've done this. And I've been with them for most of them. Right. Good Lord. All right, so uh, we got 22 categories here. Let's get started with Superstar of the Year. The nominees, Daniel Bryan, John Cena, Seth Rollins, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, and Dean fucking Ambrose. If this was voted on at the end of March, you gotta go with Daniel Bryan. He had a superstar fourth of the year, and then he got hurt, and that was it. The guy that, unfortunately, I'm voting for this year has been the guy that's carried the ball like he has every year for the past 12, 13 years now, and that's John Cena. And then people go, oh, Jeff's a John Cena mark, and he likes John Cena. Well, I do. But you know what? He's been the guy this year. He's been, he was champion for a good part of this year. He's been the leader of the anti-authority establishment for the better part of the second half. You know, he's been the go-to guy. You can't, you can't deny that. Well, I think John Cena is a very solid choice, but I don't see people voting for him. Well, no, they won't. Uh, Daniel Bryan, he, he did win the title at WrestleMania. He had that big moment, but he was gone most of the year. Randy Orton, he was around for the entire year, but... He's been around for the He's past 10 years. years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Brock Lesnar had a tremendous year, ending the streak, beating John Cena. He would be uh, my number two pick. Dean Ambrose has had a great year, but I would not go with him. My choice is actually going to be Seth Rollins wow. for a number of reasons. Number yeah. one, he's been around for the entire year. Number two, he was involved in some of the top matches of the year, both as part of the Shield and on his own with... Dean Ambrose at Hell in a Cell, yes. plus the tag matches, of course, with the Wyatts and uh, Evolution, yes. and he won Money in the Bank, and he had perhaps the most memorable heel turn of the year, and many would say he's been the top heel in WWE with Brock Lesnar not being around, so for all those reasons, I'm actually going to go with Seth Rollins for Superstar of the Year. Okay.